today we are looking at all of the new locations of the Club 33s that they're building here at Disney World. Two of them are allegedly already open, but they just revealed uh, in the last couple weeks the door, the entrance to the one here in Magic Kingdom. So let's start with that one. The wind is making that fountain blow all to one side. It's a very rainy day here. Uh, very rainy. We just hung out in a little corridor for quite a while. We have been here in the Magic Kingdom quite a few times in the last week. If you want to see more videos of us gallivanting around Disney World, checking out all the new hip locations, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So the Magic Kingdom location is here in Adventureland. And it's actually right here at the entrance. It's this right here. So this, in the last couple weeks, was all under behind a wall. They revealed the uh, contents behind the wall. And we got a touch point right there. It doesn't say Club 33 yet. It looks like the other ones. But it does look like the other ones we'll we've seen. Here. So apparently this location is going to be called the Captain's Quarters. And I've heard some conflicting things whether it's going to be uh, Skipper Canteen themed because they used part of the restaurant previously built for it, or they may be retheming it to the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This is pretty much the location that Rafiki used to meet at, right? Yeah. Didn't he meet like right over here? I believe so, yes. If I remember so they, correctly. they must have built this on. There's a light on upstairs. I wonder if it's opening soon. I don't know, could be open for all we know. I guess not, it doesn't actually say Club 33 yeah. yet, but I bet it'll be opening pretty soon. Looks like that's the door you would go into. And I think this was actually just like an open patio you could stand under before. That might be like an exit, I don't know. According to the internet, <laughs> Club 33 has a $33,000 initiation fee, and then it's $15,000 a year after that. And apparently, to even like get into the process and interview to um, become a member, you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. So there's really not a lot of information out there about it. There aren't any pictures of the two restaurants that are open. And I don't know, it kind of makes it cool because it's very exclusive. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know. It's very cool to the members, but those of us who probably will never be members don't get to know a lot of information. It's weird because Disneyland, you can find tons of photos and tons of information. I don't know if it's because it's been around so long, um, but there's a whole website called, I think, DisneylandClub33.com where it talks about all of the additional perks because in addition to being a member, you also get like 50 guest tickets to the parks. You get, um, you can request a ride in the Lily Bell caboose at Disneyland, which is Walt's personal resident residential train caboose there. I was also reading, if you have a birthday party or like any special occasion, you can call up your Club 33 membership person and say, hey, I'm gonna be here on this date and I want Donald Duck to be there for my birthday. And I guess they can make that happen for you. So it's a very, very pricey thing, but it sounds amazing if you are a member. You want to go check out the other locations now? Yeah. All right, where to next? Epcot? Epcot's, one, I think, the second one that opened, so we'll go check Epcot out. Hiding out in a cubby hole while it rains. It's okay, because it's a Club 33 cubby hole. <laughs> 
And the Club 33 here is in the America Pavilion. So let's go find it. We are now here at the American Adventure in Epcot. And the entrance to the Club 33 here is right over here. The lounge here in Epcot is called either the Constellation Club or the Constellation Lounge. I've seen it referred to as both things, so I'm not really sure which it actually is. So Jeremy and I have actually gone up there. It used to be the Chase Lounge. Chase card holders could go up there during the food and wine. Just Googling it a little while ago, I was actually able to find a picture of the inside of it. And it has some pictures of Walt. It's kind of like brown, hues of brown. It reminds me a lot of the Carthay Circle restaurant that's in Disney's California Adventure. It seems very similar to that. We made it to Hollywood Studios. The location here is inside the Brown Derby. So let's go see if we can find it. This one, being in Hollywood Studios, is called the Spotlight Lounge and is appropriately themed like a um, awards show green room. So if it's on the second floor in what used to be, um, it's supposed to be on the second floor in what used to be the Catwalk Lounge. The catwalk. The catwalk bar? Yeah. Shake your little tush in the catwalk bar. <laughs> Do your little turn in the catwalk bar. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can see it. to a very delightful place. It also seems like you could probably just take the stairs. Just saying. <laughs> what is he doing? Where does it go? Oh. Very nondescript black door. All right, so now, right through there, through this window, is the elevator we were just at. So you can kind of see some lights and things happening on the inside in there. Pretty, pretty cool for someone <laughs> that can see the inside for real. So now we are heading to the last stop of the day. We're gonna try to find the Club 33 that they're building in Animal Kingdom. Now this is the one that there is the least information about. There's rumors of it going in a few different places. Um, I don't know that anyone really knows. So we're just gonna go check it out and see if we can figure out where we think it's gonna be going in. We made it here to Animal Kingdom. It's actually the next day. We tried to come here last night, but the Hollywood Studios to Animal Kingdom bus was not in our favor, so. We're here now though. Let's go find this Club 33 here. There are three rumored locations here in Animal Kingdom. The first one being Tiffin's. Uh, the rumor is that it's inside the lounge there. The section that they're talking about is still in operation as part of the lounge. So I'm going to go ahead and debunk that because wherever that next one is, there's got to be construction starting on it, right? I think so. So let's go check out the second rumored location, which is the old McDonald's corporate uh, area of the dinosaur attraction. Just looking around the building for like where there could be a touch point or where there's a closure for them to build a touch point. So somewhere up there, there is a special area that used to be for McDonald's corporate employees to enjoy. And as far as I know, it is not in operation. I don't know when it last was, but that was one of the rumored places. I'm not sure exactly where inside the building it's at, but there's no indication around here anywhere. We just walked around the whole perimeter 
There's no construction walls indicating they're putting any kind of like special touch point for Club 33, so I don't know that it's here. Well, actually, over on the side entrance over here, there's a little wall. So, that, that could be where they're putting the entrance in. It could be going in here. So it's not a super huge section, but maybe this is just like a cue of where it go, you know, where you go into. Uh, whether this is a secret entrance, I, I don't know. But I'm not gonna say that Club 33 is not going in here because I don't know. It seems seems logical. Finding this wall up right here makes me think that there's actually a strong possibility that this is where the Club 33 is going. One thing that we do know is that Disney did file a permit to do construction on what was the McDonald's um, corporate lounge here. So it might not be Club 33 that's going in here, um, but it looks like there's a strong possibility that they're doing something to it. Uh, whether this is a secret entrance, I, I don't know, but I'm not going to say that Club 33 is not going in here. The Club 33 that is going into um, Animal Kingdom is supposed to be Harambe themed, according to the rumors. But of course, it is the one that has the most rumors circulating with not really a lot of confirmed information. So let's go check out Harambe. We'll see if there's anything there. And I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to figure this out today, but we'll, we'll try. Okay, I say we just walk around and look for any places where there are little walls or something that looks like construction. Doesn't look to be in any of the nooks and crannies of the Harambe market. Doesn't this seem like a good spot for a Club 33? So here's the other side of this building. I don't know, there's nothing specific looking like they're doing any construction, but it also just seems like there could they could be putting one in there. I don't know what's in there, but it's not anything that we can access. I don't know that we're now on the other side of the Tusker house. There is a whole second floor over here that they don't utilize for guest use at this point that I'm aware of. I mean, it's possible it could be going in somewhere over there. There are several places in Harambe that look like, you know, I could see Club 33 going there, but there was nothing distinct that said, yeah, I can tell construction's happening, that looks like the place it's gonna be. I don't know. Jeremy, what do you think? Yeah. Harambe or dinosaur? Um, I mean, the rumors that it's called Harambe Lounge or whatever that could makes be. More sense. I mean, it, it makes more sense that it would be in Harambe, but what if that's just a rumor and it's actually going in dinosaur land? I don't know. But there is the option that I don't think it's happening, which we're standing right by. All right, let's check it out. We're here at Tiffin's. We, we got to look inside the Nomad Lounge and just see, but I don't think it's going here. But let's just make sure. The rumor is that it's somehow going to be in this room here. I just, you know, it's open. Like, I can walk in here right now. It's not going in here. It just, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I do not think it's going in there, but I don't know, do you? I mean, we've seen a few rumored locations. I would love to hear what you have to say, what you think about where it could be going in, what makes the most sense to you. And if you have any information about any of these that you'd like to divulge, I also have an open ear. I'd love to hear any additional information that you have. I had a lot of fun doing this. Hopefully you had fun coming along with us. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love to hear what you think about any of the, the locations here. And hey, if you're not subscribed to our channel, you should definitely subscribe. We live here in Orlando now and 
we're here at Disney World quite often. So, hit that subscribe button. All right, thank you for coming along with us. We will see you tomorrow.